Hi there. Um, my name is James Wilson, and I'm a consultant clinical oncologist at Guy's and St. Thomas's. Um, I was asked to, to give this talk a few months ago, and the email said, would you mind coming along and just telling people a little bit about your job? And then I got an email this week saying, um, the title of your talk is actually, Why I Love My Job. Now, I'm from a small town in the northeast where I might give my mum a handshake at Christmas. I don't bandy the word love around lightly. So it's kind of put me into an existential crisis this week. I've done a lot of soul searching. And do I love my job? And unfortunately, on balance, I probably do. But like all relationships in my life, it has its ups and downs. And I have to admit, when I was studying for the statistics part of the FRCR part one, I did look at a career in medical oncology with a rather lustful eye. And when I was doing the corrections of my PhD thesis, um, I did think about divorce more than once. But I'm still here, and I'm still in love. And when I think about why I'm in love, I came up with three reasons. First of all, a career in clinical oncology is cutting edge. It's collaborative. And finally, it's incredibly human. So it's cutting edge. Our treatments are getting more and more sophisticated. We're able to deliver such high doses of radiation with such precision that we can ablate tumours with minimal toxicity. We're pushing boundaries of physics, engineering and biology to further personalise these treatments and build on these successes. And I know that all of you are going to sign up to a career in clinical oncology today, so I'm prepared to put some money on this. I guarantee that by the end of your training that we'll be doing daily adaptive radiotherapy planning. We won't just be signing a prescription at the start of treatment, we'll be on set, we'll be changing our radiotherapy plans on a day-to-day -day basis to adapt to changes in anatomy and hopefully tumour biology during the course of, of treatment. So you can, you can look me up in a few years' time and, and, and collect that, that bet. But the thing that I love about it is it's collaborative. So before I can give the most simple of treatments, I've had to work with all the members of the MDM, so I've spoken to the radiologists, pathologists, surgeons and physicians about a patient. When I meet them, I need to meet them with my clinical nurse specialist colleagues and the treatment radiographers and radiographers that have an increasing expanding role to deliver excellent patient care. And I find that part of the job really rewarding. Now I think the beauty of clinical on oncology training is the structure. So because of all of the exams and all of the courses you have to go on before you can sit the exams, I've made a lot of friends, and I've probably made a lot of lifelong friends. And because of the training, I've got a peer network across the country that I can call and ask those embarrassing questions that you perhaps don't want to ask in the MDM. In my research, I've worked with basic scientists, imaging scientists, engineers, physicists, and clinical trials units. And that's not just at the institutions I've worked at, but across the world. So I've got a global network of support and friends. And it's that working in a team with a common vision that really gives me the energy and the focus to do my job. But the last thing, it's incredibly human. So I was in a foul mood yesterday, and I just got out the wrong side of bed. We all have them. And my day was incredibly busy. And I knew I was in a bad mood when I felt a, a really sharp kick in my shins in the MDM that started at 8 o'clock. Because apparently my um, comment that perhaps you should get some up-to-date imaging didn't need the tut and the eye roll that went with it. And then my clinic was incredibly busy and it overran, and my medical oncology um, colleague knocked on my door three times to say, could you, just, could you just see, could you just add this person on? And that didn't make my mood a lot better. It meant I was 15 minutes late for my meeting in the university, so my university colleagues were a bit cross with me, and my meeting, which should have been really exciting, I'm planning a clinical trial to look at how hypoxia changes during radiotherapy. Um, it meant that I was a bit, bit tetchy through it, and I was getting really frustrated about why my trial wasn't open yet. And then I was 20 minutes late for a meeting that I had with a technology company that wanted to show me a new software that can track lung tumours during radiotherapy and during treatment so that um, better than ever, and to be honest, I didn't really listen. I was just thinking that I was late for my ward round. So I got to my ward round at half past five, and you can imagine the ward staff weren't too pleased with that. And I got around my patients as quickly and as thoroughly as I could. And it wasn't until I got to my last patient that I sat on the bed, which I'm not allowed to do, but I did anyway. 
and I was chatting to her, and I thought I'd finished, I, and I said my goodbyes and stood up to, to leave. And just as I turned to, to walk away, I just felt her grab my hand. And I turned around and looked at her, and she locked me in the eye, and she said, Dr. Wilson, I just want you to tell me that I'll have another Christmas with my son. And I felt really stupid. And I felt really silly all of a sudden, that all the worries of the day just completely disappeared, and all of this busyness was just distracting me from what my job actually is. Because I meet patients at the most vulnerable time of their life, whether I'm offering them a curative treatment or I'm just offering them a treatment that might make the death more comfortable. I can't afford to have bad days. A career in clinical oncology is far too important for that. So if you're interested in a specialty that's cutting edge, you're collaborative, and you're prepared to take the emotional risk that some of this involves, I'd be very happy to take some of your questions. Thanks very much.